Well, today's video is going to be about repairs, breakdowns, what's next? How can so much bad luck happen to one couple? Well, here it goes again. Okay, guys, here we go. Uh, another air conditioner. Now we're going, like I said, we're going to put in a uh, genuine Dodge brand new air compressor. Uh, headed over to my nephew's uh, workplace. He's going to put it in. We're going to do all the, the back flushing and all that stuff you guys uh, said I should do. But it's uh, Sunday, Saturday morning. He's got the day off, so he can work on it. Christopher, I really appreciate all the work you've done on this old Dodge truck, man. Oh, man. And uh, so, it's uh, early in the morning. I'm going to grab me a, we've got about, I think it's probably 20 miles to go to get there. I'm going to stop get me something to sandwich or something. Uh, breakfast sandwich and then we'll uh, be over there so I'll film that and you're gonna see that right after this clip if this clip worked so uh, yeah oh one more thing that's just two more things down I gotta get I gotta get the valves adjusted still haven't got that down I don't know what's going on with Jeremy over there and I gotta get the front end done Dodge, uh, not Dodge, but uh, Les Schwab, a tire place here in uh, Idaho, said they could do it for me. I got to go in there and they're going to measure and see what parts I need, and then we'll go from there on that. And then, uh, let's see, I got to get the frame welded, front end done, and the valves adjusted. Then I'm done with the truck. <laughs> yeah, I'm done with the truck. All right, now let's watch it get put in. Well, here we go, one more time. Oh, they got dang thing smoking now. Yes. Have to watch the oil consumption on that. Well, let's see what it, uh, I don't got the good camera with me, so I'm bouncing down the road here with this one. Let's get in there and get some photos of it. While we're at it, we're checking out differentials. Uh, we're checking out new joints. We're changing all the oil and all of the spots available to change the oil except for the transmission. Not going to do that one because it's under warranty and it should still be good. Sorry about the noise in the background. Hopefully. You can hear now. Okay, let me show you some other things under here while we're here. Uh, where's the little boots? There they are. You see the little boots in there? Red ones? And you see them? There we go. Those need to be replaced. You can even see this one's even twisted a little bit. Let's see if I can get this. That needs to be replaced. That's one thing on the list. Uh, the two little cracks are right. Let's see if we can get that up in there and show you the cracks. Uh, I can't see them without light, but they're in this area. Here and here, I think, right there. Two little half-inch cracks that need to be welded. So, that's what we got to do. Maybe I can even talk that guy into doing it. I doubt it. He's, he hates Dodges now. He used to kind of put up with them, but he hates them now. We checked all of the differentials. 
uh, the transfer case, everything, and uh, all the oil was in good shape. We found absolutely no metal shavings or even metal dust of anything on the magnets in the covers. What's this gear for? Probably your electric wheel for the ABS. ABS? ABS sensor, yeah. Yep. Looks pretty good in there, I think. Mm -hmm. Look good to you? It does. It smells good. That smells like a rear end of a truck. <laughs> so far, all the oils have looked good and uh, smell good, not burnt. This is the last one other than the motor oil. So, we're getting there. Good old black diesel oil. Yep, now change the filter, then what we got to do is Put oil back in that. Then we're going to start working on that part right there. See what the heck went wrong with that. After all the times. It lasted a, over a year, didn't it? It did, yeah. I don't know what, what went wrong. We'll see if we can find out. Still had some Freon. Is that what they call it? Freon? Yeah, Freon. Freon good. in it. So it didn't seize up for lack of that. We had that happen before. Again, it is definitely frozen up. This part isn't, so that keeps saves your belt. But this part froze up again. And from what my nephew said, he said they had a lot of problems with these when he started searching for another one. So the new one, the OME Dodge part, should hopefully last the next hundred thousand. But there's absolutely no metal in the oil, no sparkling in the oil, no metal, you would, you know, you put it on your finger and you're, it's going to be sparkly. Well, it isn't. So there's no metal that went through the thing. It just froze up on the outside. So, now we got genuine Dodge part. Does it say Mopar on there? Yes. Woo! Look at there. Where does it say Mopar? Look at that. Gen you all see what I see there? Uh-huh. Genuine Mopar. Can't wait to see that. It's the new one. Let's compare them. First thing my nephew noticed was this clutch. Size here. And this little thing in here they call a clutch. Much different in size. We noticed there's no brackets here. They got brackets here and a different way to connect here. And that's just glancing at it, we see that major dent for it. Anything else we notice? Whoa, the whole case is different. Look at how it's bolted together like if somebody really built it. This one looks like it was hatched. <laughs> oh man, I'm hoping this solves our problems. I know my nephew's tired of working on it. And I'm tired of having it worked on. So let's stick it in. She is installed. We're uh, doing the free on now. Coolant. And that should get her done. I feel a lot better now that I see the new genuine Mopar part. So I think we're going to steam the motor off today while it's here. But we're going to go take it for a, a drive, grab some lunch, and then do that. Hey, you guys got this on your truck? None of you guys got this on your truck. See what that is? Solar-powered light under there. Should I just leave that as an open comment and see how many of you figure out why that's there? I think I will. Ask me in the comments if you want to know why. That's there. Well, it's blowing cold, and that's all we can ask for. Everything checked out good. Oil is all uh, in good shape, but it's all new now. I mean, it started blowing cold immediately. No couple seconds for it not to. It just started right up. So maybe we got it fixed. I'm going to take the nephew out. We're going to grab something to eat. Well, we got her done. 
She's cool. And I'm headed back home. And she still runs pretty dang quickly. so many times that it, it didn't need it and there was absolutely no metal and uh, they didn't explode on the inside and the clutch that little bitty bitty ass clutch they had on their thing that's what went out so anyway I'm headed home I'm sure Hank misses me subscribe watch the next video watch the last video and uh, one of them's there, one of them's there, or there, or there, wherever they are. We'll see you on the next one.